Have you ever thought about creating your own micro SaaS? Welcome back to Decrease List, where we delve into the realms of technical innovation and budding entrepreneurship. Here, we bring ideas from concept to reality and highlight how small-scale software solutions can make a significant difference. Today, we're exploring the world of micro SaaS, also known as software as a service. This is a vital concept in the technological sphere that emphasizes the strength of niche markets and lean business models. It's about crafting a software solution that delivers to a specific need for unique audience using a small, focused team. It's about being swift, malleable, and avant-garde. If you've ever envisioned creating your own niche in the software market, you've landed on the right video. This episode of Deca Decrees List offers you 10 tangible steps to shape your own micro SaaS. From comprehending your market to enhancing your product, we've got all bases covered. So what's holding you back? Stay tuned to uncover the 10 ways to create your own micro SaaS on Deca Decrees List. Welcome back, Deca Decrees viewers. We're diving into another 10 topics today. Our first order of business, understanding your market. Imagine embarking on a wild adventure. You wouldn't dare to proceed without a map, would you? This is a fitting metaphor for the realm of micro SaaS. Here, your map is your market research. This compass guides you, pinpointing the location of your potential customers and illuminating their needs. Every triumphant micro SaaS journey commences with a problem desperate for a solution. Market research is your essential tool in uncovering this issue. Comprehending your market goes beyond simply knowing where your customers are. It's about delving into their needs, their desires, their vexations. Once you've identified your market, you've conquered the first step and are primed to tackle the next one. Now that you understand your market, it's time to define your product. The trick is to translate the needs you've identified into a tangible product idea. Start by brainstorming. Let your ideas flow freely, then distill them down to the most promising ones. Next, consider the core features of your product. What functionalities will it offer to address the needs of your market? Don't be tempted to include every possible feature at this stage. Instead, focus on the essentials the unique selling points that will differentiate your micro SaaS from others. Equally important is defining the benefits of your product. Go beyond the features. How will your product improve your customer's life, business, or routine? Remember, benefits are the value that users get out of your product's features. With a defined product, you're ready to start building. Remember, it's not about creating a product with all the bells and whistles, but one that meets the needs of your target market effectively and efficiently. With a clear product definition, Planning your development is the next step. This stage is all about blueprinting your path to actualizing your micro SaaS. It's not just about coding, it's about strategizing, about understanding what needs to be done and in what order. A well-structured development plan acts as a compass, guiding your efforts and keeping your project on track. It helps in identifying and breaking down the complex development process into manageable tasks, each with a defined start and end. This way, you can keep a tab on your progress and make necessary adjustments along the way. Think of it as constructing a building. You wouldn't start without a plan, would you? The same applies to micro SaaS development. Each task is a brick in your structure. Lay them one by one in the right order, and soon you'll have your product standing tall and strong. A solid development plan sets the foundation for successful execution. Now it's time to start building. This stage is where your idea begins to take shape in the digital world. Building a micro SaaS is an intricate process that requires careful planning and execution. It's essential to focus on the core features that make your product unique and valuable to your target market. This is not the time to get lost in the details of non-essential features. Instead, concentrate on bringing your product's central value proposition to life. Remember, perfection is not the goal at this stage you're building a minimum viable product or MVP. This is a version of your product with just enough features to satisfy early customers and provide feedback for future product development. As you move through the building process, always keep your end users in mind. Their needs and experiences should guide your decisions. After all, they're the ones who will be using the product. Once the product is built, it's time to ensure it works as expected. Testing is a crucial part of the development process. Just as a chef tastes a dish before serving, or an artist steps back to view their work, so too must we test our micro SaaS before it's ready for the world. Testing, you see, is the safety net that catches flaws and imperfections, allowing us to refine the product until it shines. 
It's about ensuring that our micro say as not only functions as intended, but excels in doing so. There are different types of tests that can be employed, each with a specific purpose. Functional testing, for instance, verifies that each part of the software works as it should. Load testing helps us understand how the system behaves under heavy traffic. Security testing, on the other hand, ensures our product is safe from potential threats. Remember, a well-tested product is a reliable product, a product people can trust. With a well-tested product, you're ready to prepare for launch. Preparing for launch involves several important tasks. This is the phase where excitement starts to build and things start to feel real. The first task is setting up a landing page. This is your digital storefront, the first impression potential customers will have of your micro SaaS. It should be clean, professional, and speak directly to your target audience. Next, you'll need to prepare your marketing materials. This could be anything from blog posts and social media content to email newsletters and promotional videos. The key is to create materials that clearly communicate the value of your product and spark interest among potential customers. Finally, you'll need to set up customer support. This is a critical part of any business, but especially for a micro say yes. Customers need to know that if they run into any issues with your product, they can get the help they need quickly and easily. Once the preparations are complete, it's time to launch. The big day has arrived. It's time to launch your micro say yes. This is the moment where all your hard work pays off and your product comes to life. Launching your micro say yes is more than just flipping a switch. It's a process and it begins with a well-planned rollout strategy. You'll want to start with a soft launch, releasing your product to a small group of early adopters. This will allow you to gather valuable feedback and make any necessary adjustments before your full-scale launch. Once you're ready for the full launch, you'll want to put your customer support system to work. Be prepared to handle initial customer feedback and queries. This is a vital step in building relationships with your users, and their feedback can help you refine and improve your product. With a successful launch, the next step is to grow your customer base. But remember, launching is just the beginning. The real work starts now. Growing your customer base is crucial for the success of your micro say S. Let's dive into a few strategies that can help you attract more customers. Firstly, consider content marketing. This involves creating and sharing valuable free content to attract and convert prospects into customers and customers into repeat buyers. The type of content you share is closely related to what you sell. In other words, you're educating people so that they know, like, and trust you enough to do business with you. Next, social media marketing can't be overlooked. It's a powerful tool for reaching millions of potential customers worldwide. By creating engaging content and fostering online communities, you can build your brand and boost your sales. Lastly, email marketing is a proven strategy for nurturing leads and driving customer loyalty. By sending personalized emails to your subscribers, you can keep your micro SaaS in their minds and encourage repeat business. With a growing customer base, the final step is to maintain and improve your product. The ultimate mission involves the meticulous maintenance and progressive refinement of your micro SaaS. With the tech industry in a state of perpetual evolution, it is of paramount importance to continuously advance. The key to the enhancement of your product lies in the careful consideration of user feedback. Ensuring regular upkeep guarantees the quality and stability of your product. Bear in mind, the final objective is to a product that not just matches, but surpasses customer anticipations. Following these 10 steps, you are equipped to establish your own micro SaaS. Embark on your exploration today. Thank you for your attention and remember to keep your guard up until our next interaction, DECA Decrees List Enthusiasts.